Hello Aces, ACF here to talk about something related to Ace Combat 7, which I think is very important. Now, I know you are waiting for the news for the release date, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm, t I'm here to talk about something not related too much about the, the status of the game, but something just as important that we need to take into consideration in these times. And the thing is, the morale and in the fatigue and the stress from the developers. Now, if you're on, on Twitter, you might have heard or seen, because you don't listen to Twitter, right? You might have seen that our senpai, Kazutoki Kono, because he's the producer of the Ace Combat franchise, he has been tweeting uh, lately about, you know, fatigue, stress. And in case you don't know, Japan is not the best place to work. Actually, lots of people die from overwork there. It's pretty serious. I think there was one tweet he mentioned. He was working until, what, 10 at night. Now, if you do that just one, that just one time, it's okay. But if you do that every day on the week, it's pretty bad. Like, can, can you just imagine yourself doing that on your the whole week? It's bad, right? And now, I, I am not sure how much you guys know about Japanese culture but it's, it's a pretty bad environment and so we need to take that into consideration because i have seen like Kono just tweeting like oh it's raining like <laughs> literally like the one of the most meaningless tweets ever but like it's raining and some people would jump at him like what about ace combat 7 where's that release date Kono? And like calm down bro <laughs> He's just saying it's raining, okay? Or he would say, oh, it's snowing, which is it's more it's more happy since he's in Tokyo. But then people are like, Kono, where's the release date? In front of me, guys, some of you, not all of you, but some of you need to need to calm down. I gotta imagine from the perspective of the developers, they already had two major decisions, as we've seen, which was to postpone the game's release twice. And I think that really sets them apart from other developers or other publishers because sometimes there's the pressure from the publishers on them which is to focus on quality rather than speed up the game development so they can release earlier so they, they think they get, they're gonna make more money the sooner they release such as Call of Duty because that's pretty much like an every year commitment which is what they have. Ace Combat however and I think most of you will agree with me it's about quality and we are pretty understanding fans when it comes to that yeah they delayed the game yeah kind of sucks that we didn't get but quality is still more important i think many of you will agree with me that we are waiting for something that comes out good something that ace combat truly deserves the sequel that we deserve which is ace combat 7 which looks like it's promising to be like that now other than that uh, please chill off a little bit in case you don't know I'm gonna tell you a story it's time for a story true story legit okay about the how the work environment it is in Japan now I never I never worked in Japan okay but it's still a personal story so I went in summer to study Japanese to live about two and a half months in Japan to meet also my uh, you know to travel to learn Japanese and to meet my my girlfriend's family and so I went there, the first day I arrived, I met her mother, it was late at night, but she came to open the door for us, okay, like, nice to meet you, okay, cool. The other day, I met her, my girlfriend's brother, because he was sleeping, because it was too late at night. But then I was like, okay, I just need to meet the father. Okay, so second day goes by, I didn't meet the father. Third day goes by, I didn't meet the father. Fourth, fourth day goes by, I didn't meet the father. I was like, hey, hey, girlfriend, am I ever going to meet your father while I'm here? And she said, "Oh, he's uh, he's he's busy. He's in the he's in the hospital." I was like, um, "Okay, I know doctors are busy. I understand, but it has been like four days. He did not come home. That like, how does that work? Where does he sleep? How how is this possible?" And so, about one e one week after I arrived in Japan, I finally met the the father. I was like, "Oh, you are the father. Nice to meet you." It's, it's just like, it's a really weird concept. I think people. Outside of Japan, don't really understand how how bad the work is there, and there's a lot of pressure. Now, I want to make it hundred percent clear: if if Bandai is watching, another developer is watching, it's like while fans we want the game early, we want it made it done. And although we have that pressure, that fan pressure, like Namco, 
when, or Bandai actually, when is the newest Combat 7 gonna come? Why is it not coming now? Where are the news? We still care about the quality, and I know I make fun of that, I make fun of the delay, and I criticize a lot with my parodies, such as the Hitler parodies, but it's all for the fun, because we don't have the game yet, so what do you expect me to do? I just make fun, because it's better to laugh than cry, with the dry, with the drought of, of news. But anyways, guys, just keep that in mind. We want the game, we want it done good, but we don't want that at the expense of the developer's health or if their minds go crazy because that's not what we want has to be the game has to be done properly and we don't want to end up killing one of our developers i'm not just talking about kono because he's more the, like the public figure of the development team but the whole project aces in in general so bendai don't pressure them too much and fans as well don't just let the guy be okay. Just let the guy be happy. Don't ask him every single tweet where, when is Ace Combat 7 going to be released. Now, of course, I had to talk about this because many people are like, oh, when are we going to get the news? So I'm expecting, this is not official, this is 100% not official, but I'm expecting we're going to get something at E3 because it has been there before and they could do that again. So my expect expectations now are for E3. Let's wait and see if we get something there anyways this was the video please take it easy all the developers please understand they are they are humans too i like for me i can't make videos every day because believe it or not i have a life outside you know university social life flight training and other stuff so they are humans and they make our our the best games come true so let them be let them take their time because I, I'm confident that this time, not a like Assault Horizon, they're gonna do a good job. But thank you guys for watching. Be respectful, be mindful, and see you guys next time.